everyone, it's Jeannie Marie with Artistic Pores and More. Welcome to my channel today. And today what I'm doing is I'm going to be doing a ribbon pour on this 10 by 20. One that I had covered over. I'll show you in a minute when I get all these paints that I mixed up off of there. So what I'm doing is basically I'm going to be doing a ribbon pour out of some of these colors that I mixed myself. So I've written them all down because they're mixed with a lot of things that I mix my own colors with. So I did the best I can. Now the purple is made with a gloss purple from Apple Barrel mixed with some iridescent medium, some Master's Touch Violet, and a mix of my purple red with iridescent medium. And in that purple red, I've got crimson and violet and regular purple. And just a hint of black in this one. Just, that's the colors I just gave you. It's all in there. Now, the brown is just Master's Touch Burnt Umber and a hint of red ochre. And the tan is a mix of my own, which is basically a light chocolate that I made color and a, a very light chocolate and a medium brown that I made and a sand color that I made out of the medium brown with a little white. So basically, I don't even remember what I put in there. I'm sure it was different kinds of tans and browns and whites and so forth to come up with this tan before. All right, the red brown, which is right there, is Master's Touch Red Oka, Master's Touch Brown, very little. Um, my mix of peach red, which I don't have the recipe for that either, it's just something I whipped together and have in a bottle and some gold mica mixed with blue troll. So this is that color right there. And now the yellow. This yellow is Lix Liquitex Basics Bronze Yellow Master's Touch Yellow Ochre Gold Mica Powder mixed with Floetrol and just a hint of black from Master's Touch. And this one here, the fall color, the orangey color, um, is my own mix of my warm orange. And in the warm orange, I made that with Master's Touch Yellow Medium and Master's Touch Permanent Red. So in this is the warm orange I made, which is the yellow medium and the permanent red, and then some gold mica that was mixed with Floetrol, and also my mix of peach red, and that's this one. So that's all of the colors that I have mixed. I did the best I could trying to figure out what they were, and try to write them all down, because some of them were pre-made. Alright, so you see I've already got my gloves on. I got two cups from like ribbon four that I've already prepared with plastic silicone. I am actually going to start with the purple. It's right down the side on each cup. I don't know, can you see that? No, but you got away. Let's do it like this. There we go. Now the brown. I don't care if it trips, it's okay. Mm -hmm. Now I'm doing the brownish red. It's a beautiful color. And then the tan, or the very light brown. Nice. And then the yellow. And then this pretty orangey color. And now I think I'm gonna go through the whole thing one more time, which is the purple. Sort of like an eggplant color. I like to put my paint on the thicker side sometimes. Here we go. Brown. The red. 
And then we're gonna have plenty, plenty of paint. And actually, I think I might be doing a three to four with these paints when I'm done with this, if I like the color combo, which I think I will. I love these colors. They're autumn colors, and autumn is my favorite time of year. I don't think I need a base coat, so I think I have plenty of paint on these cups for sure. I hope. I'm actually thinking of putting a little purple right on the top. <laughs> I might just do that. Let's put a little purple right there. Right on the top. Just a little. A little bit here. Oh, that's enough. Alright, so if we're ready, let me show you this again. This is one that I had covered up and then I uh, put some modeling paste on it. Just moving this in there where I dripped some paint. So we have this, it's all taped up, push pins, and ready to go. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna start with one cup, and I'm just gonna, I think I'm gonna go in the, oil, the same direction that the waves, I call it, are going. So I'm gonna start right here, just like this. Back up here, like this, and right, like this. Get some of that color. Beautiful purple in there too. Turn that upside down right there. And now the next cut. We're gonna start on the middle, right here. This and like this. <laughs> A little bit on the ends, like so. There we go. You can't tip that one over, there's a lot in there. Like I said, I don't think we need all that paint, but we've got it on there. And it looks like we're not quite level. There we go. Now, what I'm gonna do is let it sit there for a second while I grab my torch, get it torched up, get rid of some of those bottle bubbles, and then we'll go from there. If I can find my torch. Oh, there you are. Come here, torch. <laughs> Alright, so. I'm not worried about that because there is so much of these colors on there. Okay. Whoa, well, that's pretty. <laughs> and over the side here. There we go. Bring it back and down. Try to do it so you can see it. Maybe a little bit more this way. Right. And that's right. There. Good look at it, see what I want to do. Hmm. I want to go this way again. Oh, this way. Oh, no, it's right there. Mm -hmm. And then um, come back this way, we'll turn it around. Hmm. I'm trying to decide which way to go. I think I'm actually done. I think I'm going to leave it just like that. I think that's really pretty. I'm not sure about right there. Hmm. 
I'll bring a little bit more off. Maybe a bit that way. No. I think I'm going to go back this way. <laughs> I just can't seem to decide which way I want to go. I like it the way it is. It looks like there's a purple river going through it. <laughs> never comes out like you expect it to or want it to. I think I'm getting a little too mixed up now. However, it's really cool looking with those weird colors. I'm going to continue to kick the corner off right down there. Yeah, I think I'm done. I think that's good. There. So let me get these gloves off and, and torch again and see what we come up with. You never know. We'll see what we end up with. I wish there would have been a little bit more red color in there though. Red just got ate up. Pardon me, what's this? It's more red in there. So give me a, your opinion down in the comments below. I hope everybody enjoyed it. Stay tuned for the next one. God bless, be safe, and be happy. See you soon. Bye-bye.